I wrote and illustrated this book for children. It's called The Serious Goose. It is a fun book. All of the money I make from the sale of the book goes to Children's Hospital here in L.A. and Children's Hospitals across America. Unlike Donald Trump Jr., I can't get... My father doesn't get the Republican National Committee to buy all the copies of my book, so I need you for that. It is available everywhere you buy books, and you can get a signed copy if you want it at theseriousgoose.com. Our first guest tonight is a very fine young actor and friendly neighborhood Avenger who contributes his vocal cords to a new pigeon adventure film, Spies in Disguise, opens at theaters Christmas Day. Please welcome Tom Holland. <laughs> It's good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back. I've been in Cleveland for two months, so it's good to be back well, here. You've been in Cleveland for two months? Yeah, I've been shooting a movie with the Russo brothers. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. You told yeah. me about that. Yeah. Now, the Russo brothers, you did the Avengers with them, but this is not a superhero-related movie. This is very not a superhero very movie. Very not a yeah. superhero-related movie, yeah. It's a drug movie. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's going amazing. It's been a really strange experience for me because I've been doing the superhero thing for a while now. Uh-huh. And now I'm doing heroin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not actually. I'm not actually doing heroin. But, uh, fake heroin. Fake yeah. heroin. Fun heroin. It's Show just heroin. coffee in a needle, really. <laughs> uh, but it's going really well. It is going well. And are you enjoying being in Cleveland? I love Cleveland. Do you? Okay. I think Cleveland's great. You know, Cleveland is an underrated city. For some reason, someone decided every time we make fun of a city in America, it's going to be Cleveland. I and heard this, yeah. And it's stuck. I don't know how it happened, but it just kind of stuck. But you're enjoying it there. I really like it there. What they do you do there? What do, what do you do for fun? Well, Joe and Anthony are from Cleveland, so they're big Browns fans. Gotcha. So they've been taking us to the Browns games, and ever since we've been going, they, they started winning. We'd see... <laughs> Yeah. So you didn't go this weekend. <laughs> I didn't go this weekend, no. Did they lose? Yeah, they lost. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, yeah. Guys. <laughs> so, oh, actually, would you consider yourself to be a Browns fan now? If you Absolutely, had to pick a team? yeah. Really? It's he funny, my brother and I, we don't understand the rules. Uh huh. So we've just been sitting there drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a menu and we, like, we came up with our own version of how they should play the game. Oh. And it, it didn't work. It didn't work? No. <laughs> You know, it's funny because Henry Cavill was here last night, okay. and he was talking about how he loves the Kansas City Chiefs. And the right. reason he loves the Kansas City Chiefs is because Superman is from Kansas, and he figured Superman would like the Chiefs, and he's now made that his real team. And now you, <laughs> and now I feel like every team should have a superhero associated yes. with it. So the Browns get Spider-Man, Chiefs get Superman. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Patriots already have Captain America because Chris is a right. big Patriots Pratt's, fan. Pratt likes the Rams? No. Does he? I don't know. I think so. he likes us. No, team. he likes the Seahawks. That's right. That doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Hawkeye should like the Seahawks. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. Yeah. Would Iron Man like the Steelers or would Iron are Iron and Steel rivals in a way? I don't know. This is about as much football talk as I've ever had, so. <laughs> Dolphins? Aquaman, yes. 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 The Dolphins actually came to London to play when I was a kid, and they got spanked. They did. And did that make you not like them? You're like, oh, those guys suck. Those are the We losers. don't understand the sport. I right. don't understand why they kept stopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we stop. Well, we stop for commercials is the real right. truth in the matter. Yeah. Right. You guys don't stop for commercials. Not really. No, yeah. not really, yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah. So now you mentioned your brother. Is your yes. brother here with you tonight? He's backstage, yeah, he's here. He's I met your brother here. last time he yes, was Yes, you here. did, yeah. And I'm curious, as you know, I'm always curious, as what the brother, because he works for you. Well, I really work for him, if I'm honest. <laughs> we just set, well, we're, we just set up. We're trying to set up a company, a production company together, and we've been writing a script together. Okay. And I work for him. I see. Yes. Yeah. He works with you, is that fair to say? No, I work for him. You work for if him? I did, if Harry wasn't in my life, I wouldn't have made it here tonight. Why do you say that? He's... Well, no, because I'm just stupid, and he has to tell me where to go all the time. <laughs> so he leads your... He's your shepherd in a way. Yeah, essentially, yeah. yeah. Does he ever come and say, hey, I'd like to... I'd like a race? 
<laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and then do you have to think about... Did you have other brothers applying for the job? Did you interview him well, for Well, actually, this? my brother Sam... This is funny. My brother Sam um, is training to be a chef right now. Oh, he is? And on Spider-Man 2, um, the studio were like, would you like a chef? I was like, yeah, but I'll, I'll find my own one. <laughs> <laughs> and I got them to hire Sam, and he just basically lived at my house and cooked for us every day. It was amazing. <laughs> So you're bringing everybody yeah, in. Everyone's yeah, everyone's in. Yeah, that's kind of what though. happens here, too, yeah. We're writing a script, and it starts with, like, 20 minutes of arguing, mm -hmm. then, like, 10 minutes of productive work, and then we won't speak for two days. Can you say <laughs> what you're writing? Are you writing? Is it about brothers? No, well, kind of, I uh -huh. guess. It's based on a book, and a book that we were in love with as kids, oh. and we've been really lucky to acquire the rights in some way. Is it and... Harry Potter? Because that's popular. Really? <laughs> I never heard of Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very um, popular. So yeah, so no, we can't talk about what it is. Okay, but, uh, okay. But writing is hard. Yeah, it's terrible. It's the worst thing in the world. It's tough. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> it is. It is excruciating. All right, we're gonna take a break. Uh, okay. Oh, your brother just quit. He uh, just quit. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. Tom Holland is here. We'll be right back. It's okay, buddy. Hey, it's okay. Don't you worry. Your good friend Walter is. <laughs> Subject appears disoriented. Ah, uh, of course, I'm disoriented. You can talk? Uh, Lovey, he can talk. It worked. My eyes! It worked. Uh, what did you, did you do to my this? eyes? Hey, Lance, what? look uh, at me. Look at you? I can't not look at you, Walter. I can see my butt and your face at the same time. That is so cool. That is Tom Holland as Walter. And the pigeon, that is a familiar voice, is Will Smith. Is, yeah. Did you have fun working with Will Smith? Never met him. For real? <laughs> no, actually, I have. I just met him. We were doing press earlier, but we've been working together. You met him today? For, yeah, for the first time. Oh, wow. We've been, doing, we've been working together for two and a half years, and I just <laughs> met him. That's yeah. the crazy thing about these animated movies. It's crazy. I feel like I know him. I but... feel like you got cheated, too, because he's a lot of fun, Will Smith. I know, and he plays golf. Yeah, he's a golfer, and yeah. he was the Fresh Prince. Are you aware of that? That's true. They also that, yeah. That's did true. you ever see that show? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll mind if you haven't, yeah. but if you really want to establish a relationship, I'd start by watching all the episodes of The, the Fresh Prince. The entire show. Yes. Sure, and then I maybe buy a couple of the, the old albums. The premiere's in, like, two hours. I got well, time. you got plenty of... You can yeah. jam it in. I'll be fine. You can binge watch it. <laughs> you, uh, how old were you when you were in your first uh, movie? The movie with uh, Naomi Watts. What was that movie? Ooh, uh, I would have been about 13, 14. 13 or 14 years yeah. old. Yeah. Did you ever at any time consider doing something else for a living? I didn't, but my parents did. Your parents did, yeah. <laughs> my mom... I went through a phase in my career where, like, I was too old to play a child, but too young to play a teenager. It took me a long time to grow up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my mom decided to send me to carpentry school. Really? So wow. I, she, like, packed my bags up, she shipped me off to Cardiff in Wales, and I, like, rented a room off this lady and shared a room with her son for, like, eight weeks. This was after you made the movie. This was after I felt like I was doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and Mum was like, no. Nope. So, yeah, so I went to this school, and I was there, and I was studying, um, and I was, like, getting a qualification to become a carpenter. And the crazy thing about the, the course was is this for people who were trying to turn their lives around. You know, there's a lot of ex-cons. There's, like, some tough people in there. Yeah, woodworking attracts And they're all, that. like swapping stories and stuff, and then I'm like, yeah, there was this one time on set, my coffee was cold, man. <laughs> and it was really tough. And now uh, I didn't finish the course. Can you build... <laughs> Are you capable as far as carpentry goes? Yeah, pretty capable. All my, my mum's side of the family are all carpenters, uh -huh. so my granddad taught me when I was young. Oh, he did? So, like, I built my mum's kitchen table. You I did? built, like, a little cabinet in her kitchen. I fixed a friend's door once. Really? Yeah, which is pretty impressive. Wow. You built... Yeah. Is it a good table? Like, does she it's still, still have... It's still there. It's like... It's like 10 years old and it's still there. It's still there? Yeah. And it looks good? It looks great. Oh. Well, it's bowing a little bit now. Uh-huh. It's getting a little bit weathered. <laughs> but it's all right. It's still... You can still oh, eat I didn't at know it. you had this in you. I'm impressed yeah. by this. Wow. It's Interesting. Fun. And, um... <laughs> and, uh, last time, uh, Bob Iger was here. Bob Iger is yes. the CEO of the Disney, Disney Corporation. He runs ABC, our network, he runs Marvel, he runs everything, really. Yes. He uh, was telling us a story about 
Of course, we, most of us who care know that at one time, Sony, which owns the rights to Spider-Man, was pulling Spider-Man out of the Marvel Universe, and it was terrible. And you somehow, right. according to Bob, smoothed that over. Is that correct? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was entirely my doing. What was your doing? I saved Spider-Man. You did? No, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, we were at D23, which is the big Disney convention, right. and the news had come out, and I, I was obviously devastated. I was really upset, and all my Marvel friends were there, and they were taking, like, Marvel pictures, and I was, like, <laughs> not allowed to be in them. It was awful. Really? And, um, you were excluded from the photographs? Yeah, it did, like, a big... It, yeah, it was, it was oh, not the best wow. day. But anyway, I asked if I could get Bob's email, because I just wanted to say thank you. I just wanted to say this has been an amazing five years of my life. Thank you for changing my life in the best way and I hope that we can work together in the future. And I got his email, I sent him the email, and then he responded very quickly saying, I'd love to jump on the phone with you at some point. When are you free? And you, you don't give Bob Iger, like, a schedule. You're like, mm -hmm. whenever, Bob. Mm -hmm. So, like, two, three days go by, and then my family and I went to the pub quiz in our local, like, town. Oh, like the night of trivia? Yeah, yeah like, we're, okay. doing, we're doing a quiz. Okay. And I'm, like, three pints in, <laughs> right? I haven't eaten much. And I get a phone call from an unknown number, and I have a feeling, I'm like, I think this is Bob Iger. <laughs> but I'm drunk. <laughs> so anyway, so my dad's like, just take the call, you'll be fine. So anyway, so I answer the call, and I'm like, hey, Bob, actually, I'm really glad you called. What was the question? <laughs> when did Snow White come out? <gasps> 1944? 1944, write that down. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. But I basically just said, thank you for the opportunity, and then he said, there is a world in where we can make this work, and then there was a bunch of phone calls back and forth from Tom Rothman. He was really instrumental in the process, and, and, uh, and it was really interesting for me to have these two, like, studio heads, like, what do you think? Uh-huh, yeah, it was like... I don't know. A I'm custody arrangement, in a way. <laughs> yeah. But Bob, I think Bob said you cried on the phone. Is that true? I weeped. You did you really? No, I didn't weep. I did. Yeah. You did a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, I was really emotional. Uh huh. Because I felt like it was all coming to an end. It was. It was bad news. <laughs> it really was bad news. No, we. I don't know. We had a really good plan with what we were going to do with Sony. The future of Spider-Man was still very bright. Uh huh. Um, but it would have been a shame to take him out of the MCU. You know, right. he's where he belongs, and we've built such a strong character in that world, and it would have been a shame to, to lose that, but I'm just really glad that we managed Boy, I'm really it. glad you got drunk and got on the phone with Bob. And <laughs> I know, <Christmas>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's weird the way things work out, isn't it? I know, it? yeah. Well, it's great to see you. Thank Thanks you for, for always coming back. by. Tom Holland, everybody. Spies in the skies. It is Christmas Day. We'll be right back. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So, um, you know what to do.